First up here at 10, this man's crime spree came to an end after a number of robberies that all started, according to police, with a robbery at a 7-Eleven in Fishhawk. Then a jogger, or jogger was strangled. All of it ended when he was found hiding in a home in Riverview. Let's go to Fox 13 Genevieve Curtis, who's been sorting through all this and trying to piece it together for us, live outside the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office. Uh, hi there, Genevieve. Sounds uh, quite involved here. Take us through exactly what happened. Yeah, Mark, the sheriff's office says that a violent suspect is off the streets tonight after a series of random and violent crimes. And we've learned that comes just over two months since he got out of jail. Matthew Green has been in and out of Florida prisons for the last 14 years. He was just released on February 3rd after serving five years for robbery with a gun. It's the same crime he's accused of committing just this week. Around 2 a.m. Tuesday morning, HCSO detectives say Green tried to rob this 7-Eleven on Fishhawk Boulevard. They say he demanded money from the register and claimed to have a gun. The employee didn't give it to him, and they say Green took off. Shortly after that, 911 calls came in about an attack on a jogger. That victim was strangled unconscious. Detectives say Green was behind that attack, too, and stole the jogger's phone. Investigators say they determined a possible location for Green, this home in Riverview, and found him hiding behind a washer and dryer. The owner of the home tells me Green knows her grandson, but didn't have permission to be in her home. In a statement about the case, Sheriff Chuck Ronister said, quote, our community should rest easier tonight knowing that a dangerous individual intent on terrorizing innocent lives with acts of violence is no longer free to roam our streets. And Green is in jail facing charges of robbery, battery, and violating his parole. Reporting in Tampa, Genevieve Curtis, Fox 13 News.